All right, welcome back to another modern, nope, vintage legacy cube draft. We nailed it. I'm going to take Splinter Twin first. Splinter Twin seems like the kind of... Uh, I'm not selling ticks currently. I just don't have enough. Um, I, I'm taking tick donations if you guys have them because, boy, Magic Online, unlike Hearthstone, uh, Magic Online is a consistent cost to, to stream. Like, if I do three legacy cube drafts uh, and I end up losing all of them, it's three thirty tickets or... 300 play points or you know whatever you have so i'll share the ultimate draft salt tilt experience with you on discord in a few it should make things oh yeah all right so we're just going to take splinter twin here and we're going to try to splinter twin things out i think it's the strongest card in this pack who's my favorite character in the office Ooh, that's a good question oh someone slammed the door really loud there um I don't know. That's a good question, though. Ooh, Umazawa's Jitte and a Control Magic? What's the stronger card here? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. Juposhi, have a good night, buddy. Um, It might be Holly, which is weird to say. I think Holly is a thoroughly enjoyable character. She's quirky, but not, like, uncomfortably quirky. And I think Dwight would probably be second. I like Dwight a lot. I think it's Jitte. Frost Titan again. Two blue blue X dual lands. Batterskull, Dissolve. So now we're forced. I think I value Frost Titan higher than I should, but it's very good. We could take Batter Skull for Equipment Tribal. Um, Exol, what's going on, buddy? I do like Frost Titan a lot, though. I think it's just Frost Titan. However, if we get a... Nah, uh, hmm, I don't know. It's Frost Titan. Storm Breath Dragon? Toby is definitely not the best character. And that's that's not to say... Like, I actually watch The Office and I'm like, God, Toby gets so much shit. But I don't. I still don't think he's a great character because of that. I think he gets... I think he gets a lot of abuse, which is unfortunate. But he's still kind of a derpy character. Is this Night Vale Spectre? I kind of like Night Vale Spectre. Let's go Night Vale Spectre. Triple blue? That's hard. Johnny Vengeant. Bloodbraid Elf. What if we just go five color and... Yeah, a bunch of the characters actually right for the show. Mindy Kaling right for the show. Uh, BJ Novak rates for the show. So Kelly and Ryan. Um, is Looter good? I kind of just want to take the Bloodbraid Elf and see what happens. I'm going to take the Bloodbraid Elf and see what happens. I'm going to have fun. We're going to have fun with the Magic the Gathering online cube. Don't believe me, just watch. Oh, is it Shaman? Actually, Shaman seems great with Night Vale Spectre and, and Bloodbraid Elf and things, right? I bet that looter comes back. I am not a big Ral Zarek fan. Ooh, Huntmaster of the Fells, huh? And an Acidic Slime. And I'm tempted to just take this Reflecting Pool. We're not taking Mentor. We don't actually have any spells. We have four creatures out of five cards. One is a Splinter Twin. It's either Huntmaster or Reflecting Pool, I think. One one monks though. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I know what he does. I know what he does. I'm familiar with his mentoring ways.
Spellskite is what you're saying here. We're gonna go hunt master. We have no white, and all we've seen is white fixing lands, which is kind of sad. We have no black either. We're kind of teamer right now. I guess Gorklan Rampager was a thing. No one expects Gorklan Rampager, right? I don't want to be land tax because we don't have any white cards. I don't want to have enough white mana to play this on turn one where it matters. <sighs> See, another white land. I don't understand. Or another four drop. It's, it's, it's one of the two. Oh, Lumbering Falls is perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Primal Command's okay, I guess. Field does fix, but like, field fixes on like turn four. We're already taking teamer cards, one of which is triple blue. I don't, I don't know why you guys want me to go into to the white. Oh, I like Baylos. Where are all the, the rampy creatures? That's what I want to know. See, the, the thing I've been doing with the cube, which you guys might be realizing now, is I'm just trying everything. I could take the best card in the pack or or take, like, Looter for a, co a co consistent blue-red strategy deck. But I kind of just want to have fun and take the funnest card, like a Bloodbraid Elf, into a Shaman of the Forgotten Ways. Like, that seems more fun to me. I have not tried Munchkin ever, or I don't even know what DBS is, unfortunately. I'll take a Gargs. If you don't, if you guys don't think this deck is fun, don't believe me. Just watch. Don't believe me. Just watch. Chromatic Lantern seems great. So does Stomping Ground. Ooh. Maybe Land of War Elves tables? Dragon Ball Super? I don't even know what that is. Is it Stomping Ground or is it Chromatic Lantern? I feel like it's Lantern here. Lantern seems real good. Lantern makes all of our lands produce this color. <laughs> I mean, Lantern's not that slow. If we get a turn, if we get a bunch of turn one guys, which I think we will. Plus, there's more cards like Stomping Ground in the cube that we can take. Like right now, I'm just gonna take the Sulphur Falls over Woodfall Primus, and hopefully Woodfall comes back because it's probably one of my favorite green creatures. But we'll see. Hmm, Corsair is good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I'll take a Corsair of of Cruffix. I think we can get more elf-like creatures. Uh, I think that elf might even come back depending on how the green guys are feeling this draft. I took a top last night. It was not fun. Chad, I saw your message when I woke up where you're like, Jesus, I'm bad at drafting. I was like, that's pretty hilarious. Uh, Sylvan Avocado seems good here. I like two drops here. We don't have any two drops. We have no reason to cut Spectre and Titan right now. None. Two of our lands are fixing lands. Don't be crazy right now, okay? Don't, don't, don't do this. Oh, Savannah, why can't you be a red, blue, or green land? Scavenging Ooze seems good here. I like Scavenging Ooze. I like, it's weird that there's Den Protector and Eternal Witness in the cube. Like, why do you need both? That's a weird inclusion. It's definitely not Show. You guys are crazy. Show is a trap every single time. Always a trap.
I'm going to take Wall of Blossoms here. I don't love it, but I don't like anything else in this pack either. So, Abbot of Carol Keep is cool. It's just Rift Bolt. Scarab God, when the moon hits your eye like a big scarab god, that's a zombie. That's a zombie. I'm just going to take this, dude. Ooh, Woodland Cemetery. I like you. I'm a fan of your work. A Woodland Cemetery is also a blue source for Night Vale Spectre if we need it, so that's pretty cool. I don't care about any of these other cards. Stomping Grounds. Came back, ladies and gentlemen. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, you chat noobs. JK, I love you guys. Uh, I want to take the birthing pod here because maybe, right? Maybe. Zombie Dean Martin approves. That's all I ask for, actually. So this is actually kind of a pod deck. We have a bunch of two drops. We have a couple three drops. Got the four drops. Got five drops, six drops. This might be a pod deck, guys. Do I do it? Do I do the pod deck just for you guys? Just because you want it to happen? None of these cards are really interesting. Act of Aggression is pretty okay. I'll take Act. Okay, Ferdor, why do you do this? I thought we were friends. And then you sing Wonderwall. This is where you want to be. None of these cards are very good. I'll take the Gisela. Always be gisela -ing. Of course I was drafting for Pot all along, obviously. Everybody knows that. Oh, I do like active aggression stealing their guy and sacrificing it. That's pretty good. Hey, Rift Bolt came back. Not sure we care, but... <laughs> Jace the Mind Sculptor, better than all. That's a dude. That's a dude that goes right into our deck. And we really hope for some fixing here. Uh some some non man some non land fixing. Seems good. I I could I would take coalition relic if this wasn't in here. Uh Taiga seems pretty okay. I like a Garrick. I like a Thrag Tusk. But I think we're just gonna go with Taiga here. That seems pretty easy. Jace is never a trap. How dare you, Monsonster? How dare you? How dare you? No wonder Elaine doesn't believe anything you say. I, what if we Jace and then we hit, or uh, we Bloodbraid Elf and then we hit Den Protector? That's just sad, right? Findhorn Elves is pretty good. I'll take a Findhorn Elves. Misty Rainforest. Ooh, boy. That's a spicy meatball. I also like wood. I like Wire Whisperwood Elemental as well. I think it's definitely Misty, though, especially because we have uh, Stomping Ground and Taiga. So it gets us all three of our relevant colors. 
we're not going to get a tropical island, but if we could get a volcanic, that would be cool, right? You guys like volcanic islands? Yeah, you like a little... Uh... Actually, the Jade Light Ranger seems pretty sweet here. I kind of like Jade Jade Light Ranger, especially because we can play it on turn two with a Findhorn Elves. Oh, if Bayou wheels, I'll definitely take a Bayou, especially because we can get it with Misty. I will take a Jade Light Ranger. It's either that or Kiora, but I think our four drop is, is pretty pretty packed already. How does pod work with manifest creatures? Um, so, like, do you mean morph creatures? Manifest creatures have a casting cost of zero. So when you sacrifice them, they are zero. And you get a one. Oh, I like Phoenix with pod. That's cool. What if we do just cut the blue cards here? Oh, that makes our mana so much worse, though, because we just don't need it. Rishkar is a dude. Rishkar putting a counter on, like, a Wall of Blossoms or, you know, uh, Scavenging Ooze is pretty cool. Actually, we can probably cut Splinter Twin for, for Rekindling Phoenix and still feel good about the deck. I like that. <laughs> Why do you have this white card in your deck? Well, because I have Pod. So, which one are we doing it with? Nicobolus or or Emrakul? You guys got to speak fast because I got six. I got sixteen seconds. Bolus? I think it's Bolus. Okay, all of you guys said Bolus. Deal. Sixteen creatures. Is this a Domri raid deck? Domri raid seems good here. I don't like Den Protector here. Is it Flame Slash or Domri raid? Ooh, interesting. I think it's Domri raid. I like Lightning Strike. I like Trigon Predator, too, actually. Trigon Predator seems good for this deck. We don't have a lot of things like Trigon Predator. I also don't hate Virtuous Gear Hulk, but I think we're going to take the Trigon Predator. It's a little more versatile. Thrag Daddy or Glory Bringer? Ooh, that... Well, now we also have another another. It's got to be Thrag Daddy, especially with uh, especially with Pod. I want to take the Pernicious Deed. Wait, oh, Whisperwood Elemental came back. So did Wicker Bow Elemental. Elder, rather. Um, I'm going to take Whisperwood Elemental. I'm actually gonna, probably going to cut the Gorkland Rampager. I don't think that guy's great. We can also probably cut a 3-drop here. Probably Night Veil Spectre. I hate to do it because this guy's really sweet. It's a little greedy. But I think the rest of the deck looks pretty sweet. I'll take Torch Fiend. I'll take Mana Tithe. One oh, Pillar of Flame came back. That's pretty cool. This deck looks actually pretty cool. I think this deck turned out really sweet. And we got a good amount of fixing. And we can still use Woodland Cemetery for Nicobolus. So everything everything works out. Everybody wins. Unfortunately, no combos with Splinter Twin other than like obvious stuff like Thrag Tusk or Frost Tusk. You know, just, just your basic stuff. Um, which I don't think is good enough. Why would we cut the Bolus? We not only have Finhorn Elves, we have Chromatic Lantern to Ramp. Like, why would we ever cut the bolus? That doesn't even make any sense. Cut that fun card out of your deck. You, you're asking if we got Birthing Pod, which is right here? I 
I think if I actually try to cut Bolas and submit my deck, it would say that it was illegal. It would be invalid. It would be all invalid deck, and I'd be like, "That's unfortunate." All right, so let's sort by color at least. No, heavy green it seems. Okay, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven green sources. That's a lot. Probably we can probably go to ten for now and see how it works out. I think we probably want a more another red source. We have one, two, three, four, five red sources. I think we can go to six. Uh, black sources, we literally need one, but we do want something to search out if if they have like path to exile. Um, it also leaves us with one, two, three black sources, which is fine. Not including, uh, well, actually, that is including lantern, right? Woodland, chromatic, and swamp. Yeah, so three. Um. <clears throat> How many blue guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six blue, six red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Yeah, that, I think that works. Our blue splash is very. Our blue and red splashes are very. The double blues here are, are rough. I'm tempted. Maybe we just go down to eight forests. I think eight forests is probably more than reasonable. Or eight green sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not even including chromatic or fintorn. And then we just add a seventh red and a seventh green. Or seventh red and a seventh blue, rather. I think that's probably safer. Just because we have double double. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. I'm excited. So, because I'm excited, I'm going to say 1, 2, incoming. Huh? Don't believe me, just watch. Oh, this is a hand. Unfortunately, with no uh, untapped green source, we can't Chromatic Lantern on turn 2, which is really sad. But, I'll take a turn 3, I guess. Well, we do get to Corsair of Crufix next turn, which is pretty sweet. And then we get to play a land off the top, maybe? Wow, that was the rudest thing you could have possibly done. That seems like a waste. Also, this deck seems great so far. Uh, oh, I want to play that, but I'm going to play Corsair instead. Land on the top, land on the top. Wasn't a land, it was a Bloodbraid Elf on the top. Can you think of the value if you went Bloodbraid Elf into Jade Light Ranger? Can you imagine that? Heroes downfall that guy. All right. Everybody's winning here. I don't know how you missed that beautiful chicken getting drafted, but you certainly did. You certainly did. One, two, three, four, five. I think we just Jade Light Ranger try to hit lands here. Uh, we're going to also play it in such a way that we can... Oh, two lands. Oh, seems good. We'll play one, because next turn we're going to play uh, Rampaging Baloths and make a 4-4. Four, four. So, Daniel, what's going on, buddy? How's your, how's your drunkness? Okay, so to be clear, you're just going to kill everything we have. I understand. We'll take four. And then we'll play bait loss. Don't be a land. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big, beefy, based. A uh, big, big, drunkard all. That's pretty good. Wow, that was... I'm... I'm that was a good one. I'm impressed. Daniel, you are you are the beautiful chicken tonight, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, they didn't do anything. Land. Now I actually want to land. Oh, the best possible land. This is pretty good. I feel like we're in good shape here. I'll just get a taiga. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. Nope. This guy. Get my fight on. I didn't actually equip here, and that was pretty bad. I don't know why I didn't do that. I don't think I care at this point. We're just going to deal 10, and we're going to pass the turn, pretend like they, they know everything that's going on here, so I don't know why we didn't do that. We just we were rushed. I don't care. I feel like we're in fine shape. doesn't matter. All right, we did good. We barely did good, but we did okay. In the distance, I can hear Michael changing over his laundry. I don't think we have any real reason to sport anything. We didn't see artifacts. Um, we only saw a 4 or 5. Um, I wish... I wish Act made them sacrifice this in a turn. Like, I don't think it's good enough right now. We saw one creature, so if their only guy is Tassigar, we just steal it, uh, attack for four, and then give it back, which doesn't seem great. Oh, I played blue all right. There's tons of blue in this deck. Look, I got a Scarab guy right here. I'll keep this hand. Don't believe me, just watch. Uh, I think we just get a... Oh, this gets a blue, though. I don't think we need a red at the moment. We do want a blue, so I'm going to save the Misty until we need it. Right now, we can just play Ooze into Jeet. Jeet. -e. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Who's a, who's a Mick? Like Mick Jagger? Don't believe me, just watch. Also, the funny thing is we have lost 12 subs since last week. Um, oh, they get our Primal Command. That's sad. Uh, 12 subs since last week because it's like the beginning of the month, so all the Twitch Prime subs expire. So you go from like one number and then you just watch it slowly dwindle every single day. And it feels, it's such a feel-bad moment. If we didn't have this Primal Command in our hand, we would have actually been able to Birthing Pod. Or, uh, they, they're not, I don't know what I meant by that. We would have actually been able to, uh, what do you call it? They wouldn't have been able to take anything. That's what I'm saying here. See, now we might have to get a, a red source. What's the Twitch Prime Reminder extension? What is that, Chris Furterer? That sounds awesome. Don't believe me, just watch. If we get a blue here, though, like, it's pretty bad, right? We can't get a blue, but then we also don't get to play Scarab God next turn. Whatever. I'm just going to get a Taiga here. I probably did get the email, but I didn't even think about it. What do you counter? Oh, that was the best. This is literally what we just talked about. The value is so real. Mind break trap. Oh, days. That's cool. No, I don't have it. That's sad. I'll terminate your guy. That's still two for one, boy. Wow, that's even better. Because that makes Tassiger harder. And that's just a... Oh, alright. You guys are awesome. I'll have to... I'll have to... 
install this extension. Oh, that's great, because now we can play this guy. We also want to take a screenshot of the deck. Um, because we don't want to uh, forget what we're potting into. We can pot into a Shaman. We can pot into... Okay, so they're just literally one for wanting all our things, right? I don't think I have a reason. Actually, we can just do this. This seems pretty good, dude. La da da, get back my scarab god. This deck seems gas. G -g 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 gas. What's what's better, Jitte? I feel like Jitte is probably better. gonna tap down your other blue so you don't can't counter anything. I don't care about the red as much. Doing good. Wow, that's really rude. But we have a scarab gun. Do 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 do. do, do. Are you ready? Oh, I feel like we're in good shape here. Make a guy. Equip the jit. Always equip the jitte to the guy you don't care if they die. So if they want to kill one of these, we still get a perk. Um, give him plus two, plus two. That seemed pretty good, right? I don't know. I'm no Jitte expert. <clears throat> so... Two, three, four, five. Just play this guy. See if you have a counter spell. Nope. All right. Seems good. I don't think we have any seven mana creatures, but. Hmm. Chris, three minutes is all it takes. I think you're in a good point right now. Oh, but we won the game. This deck is sweet. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, view deck. Good call. Good call. So we'll go up to the signboard. We'll get all of it. All right, cool. Now we have this reference point. Good call, barman. Good call. Zagon42, two months in a row. Thank you so much. What up, Chris? Good seeing you, buddy. Chris, Chris and Chris. Two Chris's now. Dubs Chris's, if you will. I bet you will. Let's play first.
Um, I actually like this hand. It's got all the colors, including a chromatic lantern and a wall of blossoms to get us a little deeper. Yeah, Scarab God and, and Birthing Pod seem like a great combination. <laughs> Sack my Scarab God, get a Frost Titan, uh, get my Scarab God back. Oh my god, there are so many Chris's. I thought this deck was a joke deck at first. Like, we were like, oh, I'll draft, sure, I'll draft second, first pick Splinter Twins, second pick Night Veil Spectre. Sure, I'll do that. I'll not play either of them. Sure, why not? Into, like, a, a really decent pod deck. That's kind of cool. How many Chris's are there? So, Roosterfer is a Chris. Backlight's a Chris. Nifty Chris is a Chris. SF Dragon is a Chris. That's at least four Chris's in the chat right now. There's a bug just flew in front of my face. That is a lot of Chris's. Chris is on deck. You're not a Chris, Efka. You're an Efka. z -Wobber, I'm so sorry, buddy. I think Mike went to his parents' house to go eat dinner or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lantern here, and then next time we're gonna play Whisperwood, old Whisperwoody. Oh, that's actually pretty good too. I don't know what to do. I it's either it's either what's what it's just blood bright elf. Do we cascade? All right, what's the verdict? Whisperwood or blood bright elf? Blood bright elf has a better now effect. Whisperwood could just die before we even get a guy out of it. It could also be countered by something like a force spike or a daze. I feel like the the better play is blood bright elf here. I guess we gotta have a red. Sometimes just tap any colored mana. Oh my god, it's Jade Light Ranger again? Oh, the value is so real. Rekindled Phoenix? I'll put this on top. I will keep this, dude. That seems great. Wow. Wow. Man, Jade Light Ranger every time, dude. Every time. Our hand looks real good. There's a small fly flying around my head right now. I don't know where he is, but... I'm not pleased with his existence. Languish. Mana War. Oh, what do you bounce? Jade Light Ranger for the value? Blood Braid Elf for the value? Any one of these creatures being bounced is pretty rough. But I accept your terms. Rekindled Phoenix? Okay. Is it just Jade Light Ranger scavenging us here? Or we can just Whisperwood? We definitely want to play our six land. We don't want to play Baloth until we get a free dude out of it, though. Oh, Chris, thank you so much. Back with the sub. Really appreciate it, dude. You are awesome. I imagine Chris's do get christened. I also don't know if uh, they're at liberty to say. I'm just going to attack with this guy. I feel like it's just probably best to play Whisperwood here. Two, three, four, second green. Whisper Man. Whisper Man is right. Oh, that's good. We don't want to draw that anyway. That's perfect. My my forest hath become a 2-2. Two, two. 
I'm actually going to not F5 here because I guess if they have damnation, do they become indestructible? Oh, they just, uh, whenever, f until the end of the turn, face up non-token creatures you control. Yeah, so like if they, if they, uh, damnation, we'd get a 2-2 for this. So we kind of don't want to F6 here. I, I, that forest could have been a 4-4, four, four. Um, but I am glad that I, I, I'm fine. I, I think we'll find other lands to be 4-4s. Four, two is the correct play, uh, or, uh, Nathan. Two is the correct play, not not six. You are correct. Oh, that's, that's a scary card. I feel like Gilded Lotus is always the precursor to death. Oh. I see. All right. Well, your graveyard is getting filled with things that I'm afraid of. So here comes they'll just discard like Gristlebrand something else. Watch. You ready? It's always Gristlebrand. Unlimited and beta drafts for Magic 25th Anniversary. Thoughts? Um, are you asking if I'd like to participate in them? Because that sounds sweet. I don't know how I would do that, but I... I I like the idea of them. Like, that's like asking me, like, "Hey, buddy, gold bars or platinum bars? What do you think? Thoughts?" And I'm like, "Yeah, they they sound great. I don't know if I don't know if, I don't know if platinum bar is a thing. I don't know if you can have a bar of platinum. I imagine you could. I just don't know if that's the uh, what do you call it? I'm gonna Jade Light Ranger and assume I can hit one land, and then we're gonna Jitte and um." Uh, I'm going to put you in the graveyard, unfortunately. Oh, my God. They both go in the graveyard. Do I actually want this guy? Dang. I really wanted Jitte here. Oh, we're going to just play... Uh, yeah, you can actually go in the graveyard. I don't care about either of you. Chris, also, thank you so much for this up, man. I really appreciate it. Chris C., by the way. Um... You find the platinum in the pros? Is that how they become pros? Oh my god. That's crazy, dude. People who play who, people who play Tron are monsters. You're right. I agree. Actually, that would have been. I didn't even consider the uh, the Whisperwood. The, the problem was I just wanted to have a land this turn, and I figured one of the top two cards might have been a land. So I think that's how we were getting we were getting there. Um, it didn't happen, but I still think we're in good shape here. So. All right, let's see if let's see if Gilded Lotus is the precursor to death. What do you bounce here? If you bounce Scavenging Ooze, I'm gonna be real suspicious. Okay, that's actually fine. Oh, what if you wipe the board now though? If you have Damnation, it's actually very good here, or like a Languish. I don't think replaying this guy is in our best interest. Like, we have so many other things to do. So, the problem is if they bounce that and then they play a Languish or a, da a Damnation, like, we lose five guys. If they do it now, we get three guys back, which is pretty valuable when they're at ten. So, we're not going to let you get away with that. I think they still have to do it. Oh, Olivia Voldaren. Okay. All right. Well, then. I actually feel pretty good about this position we're in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Jitte. I don't think it matters. Put on the forest. Everybody wins. Except for you. You do not win. Uh, I would love to draft uh, beta. But I also don't think people would take it very seriously because you're opening beta packs. You can't see the rest of Umizawa in the illustration, but I bet he's in a great position. I imagine <laughs> you're right. I imagine he's doing just fine in the rest of this artwork. Unless the prize was like a box of beta for the beta draft. Like in that case, you're just like, oh, well, I'll definitely play a little more seriously. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like we can actually get rid of your mana war. Four, five, six. We can put you to two. I think that's pretty good. But I'd rather just keep a mana up here. Also, might just play Island to have. Actually, we just play Island here, I think. Let's get rid of Corsair of Crew Fix. I'll put you to two. All right. So they have to spend seven mana, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to actually kill something. One, two, three, four, five, six, which means they have three left over. That seems okay. But then they could actually Gilded Lotus for three green, exile three things. We'll probably exile one thing so that they can not do that. Nope, that ain't, that ain't going to do it. Eh, say green. They do have two cards in hand, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually play Bayloth and then equip Jitte. I think we're just equipping Jitte, though. And everything's lethal. So if they steal an attacker, they go block, block. It's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst, I guess. They also have to do it pre-combat, otherwise it's tapped. Yep, to the surprise of no one. God, Olivia Voldaren's rough to deal with. Tin Man, no worries that it, that it happened twice. Not a big deal, buddy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, they didn't even use the... That's interesting. So they're not going to be able to exile anything because they, they only have one green... Four, four. They have to block here, though, so they block with the scavenging ooze. That's pretty good. And then they shoot something else to make it a five, five. Oh, that's so sad. Olivia Valdaren's actually very good on this board. Uh, no, we didn't want to play. No, we don't want to play Bailoff first. We wanted to keep our mana up for this guy. We'll probably just play Phoenix. Are we seriously going to lose to one Olivia Voldaren? That's scary. Uh, 
Actually, they have to block both, so we do have to attack with both. So that's pretty good. All right, now I feel good, because we can get rid of the... I think we just lose all our creatures, but we can play Phoenix, and next turn we have Rampage. It's it's permanent. Gain control of target vampire for as long as you control of Evil Darren. And she made this guy a vampire, so... That's an ooze vampire. Yep. 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 Yeah, I assume you're shooting something else. To make Olivia live, but then we still get the, the manifest. Olivia shooting the manifest token, sure. Uh, kill you. So you're probably going to... if Eating one and gaining one doesn't actually do anything because you have to use Mana Confluence for it, which is not ideal. So red, red. This guy. Boom. All right. And now we can eat Olivia if we have to. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Uh, that guy is more than fine. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yep, that'll do. Alright, <laughs> they were digging there. Ooh. Uh, why didn't we shrink Olivia before damage? I I don't know. It wouldn't have mattered. She was a 5-5. Five five, so she was a she was a five. She was a four four. We can make her a three three with one counter. Make her a two two with another counter. And then she just shoots the thing and makes she's just three three again. So she's she's a three three blocking a four three. It, but we have to use two counters to do that anyway. Like if we use just one counter, which is what we did, then we kill her. So I'd rather just use one counter to kill her. There's no way our th our four three Jade Light Ranger is surviving. That's why we didn't use two. That's why we didn't do it before damage. At quote chicken, what does that mean? Who's quote bot? What's going on right now? Um, did anything really stand out? I kind of like Trigon Predator here instead of like Shaman. Like we saw Coalition Relic and we saw Gilded Lotus. Uh, Manatai is not in the main deck because we don't have white guards in our main deck, Daniel. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. When did I say stupidness does as stupid is remember that? When did I say that? I don't even remember saying that. I'm uncomfortable with how familiar you are. You guys are with the with the, with the quote number. Like you guys know that quote number nineteen is me not having said a thing. That's pretty funny, to be honest with you. Oh, this hand's rough, but I think it's actually still good. We have a lot of early things, and any land is is good here. Nineteen is a useful quote because you guys fake quote me all the time. That's why. They went to six though. So, all right, that's cool. I'm down to clown. That was actually a phenomenal land to draw. Now we get Scavenging Ooze into Domri. Into Bee Pod. We might actually want Wall of Blossoms earlier. I think Wall of Blossoms might be the better play because it guarantees we hit a fourth land for Huntmaster. Actually, that guy's probably even better. I like Scavenging Ooze as a utility creature to, uh, to play later and make sure certain degenerate reanimation strategies don't get... Don't get online. Oh, 
Okay, did I actually say the stupidness is as stupid is? Remember that? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't actually say that. So I don't think you guys do only quote what I say. I don't think I ever said that. Oh, God. Trigon Predator one time? Okay. Scarab Gourd. Oh, my Gourd. Click OK to continue. Okay. Whatever. That'll do. No creatures, huh? Well, let's keep looking. Oh, I'll draw that. Pow. Kapow. I guess we'll attack here first. What if we just get a Domri Raid Emblem? That's pretty good, right? They have no blue sources? So anything we play resolves? Interesting. Playing Lantern now and playing it next turn is basically... Or playing Pod now and playing it next turn is the same thing, except next turn we can activate it immediately. And it doesn't give them a chance to Birthing Pod. Olivia Voldaren. <laughs> so four mana we could fight doesn't do anything though hunt master of the falls it's actually fells oh you're right we could birthing pod for like jade light ranger and then fight if it's big enough maybe that doesn't seem great though Oh my god, you guys are terrible. I can't even keep up with this chat anymore. You guys are just monsters. Chat monsters. Literal monsters. <sighs> Alright, let's 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 go back to our screenshot and see what we have. We have Jade Light Ranger, Corsair, and Trigon Predator at 3. Um, we could play... Huntmaster gets us Whisperwood Elemental or Thrag Tusk, which is pretty good. Fighting... <laughs> There's no way fighting is the best bet, right? You're joking, right? You gotta be joking with me. We can actually activate Lumbering Falls and fight. That could be interesting. It just gets rid of... Yeah, Recurring Nightmare is a little bad. It's a little bad. They don't have enough mana to shoot and steal next turn. So that's good. I think we just want to play like Huntmaster here. Sure. That was a good draw. I don't want to fight here because they have Recurring Nightmare. So they just play a small guy next turn, and then they get Olivia back and replay it. Like, it just... It doesn't seem great. I'd rather wait to do better things. Sure. Yeah, Double Shoot's pretty good. I didn't actually consider that. That was terrible. My bad. And they get to hit Domri. All right. That was my bad. God, we can't play anything now. Oh, my God. I really said it in a video? Now you know. Now you know that you're stupid. Mm, I didn't know that worked that way. Yeah. Stupidness does as stupid is. Remember Stupid that? Is the crown. Heavy is the head with the crown. Is I feel like I was just making fun of Mike there. Now I'm real scared of this Olivia. I don't know what to do now. Three drops, not good. 
Well, we have one option here. Oh, that's sad. Where are the lands in this deck? Can I get some lands? I guess I did still say it. You guys are not wrong. Dang, I feel real awkward now. I thought I thought I was right. I think it's just J Light. Uh, it could be Corsair of Crufix, actually. Let's get Corsair and try to dodge uh, Olivia Valderin's life. Uh, you can't actually put a creature on top. It's non-creature permanent. That's not how Primal Command works, unfortunately. Oh, blue source. That's scary. Excellent. Have a good night, buddy. Olivia seems real good against us. I might actually just want to bring in Rift Bolt just to kill an Olivia Voldaren. So if there's a land on top, I like it. Oh, a Merfolk Looty Tootie. Look at that. We hit the land drop. Oh, boy. What to do? You know what to do. <clears throat> so EOT, they can shoot this and then just steal it, which is pretty bad. You want food, but you feel sick in the tum-tum. Um... What about like ramen or, or pho? Are those options for you? So I think if Olivia steals something and you, you active treason her, active aggression her, you get it back because it says gain control for as long as you control Olivia. So you would get them back. Oh boy, boy oh boy, huh? Uh, you can't breeding, you can't birthing pot in response. It's got to be done at a sorcery speed. God, I wish we can get rid of. The, oh my God, this this one Olivia is like causing us fits here, though. though. I guess they could just, I guess we just whisper wood here, and then we have a thrag tusk. But then they can shoot thrag tusk. They'll never be able to flip it though, right? Got him. Got him. I don't know if we got him. I don't know what that means. F 
forest on top. Not ideal. What do you shoot here? Whisperwood Elemental, so it's an elemental vampire, because that's a real thing. I'm really not a fan of this, Olivia. I'll be honest with you. I think we're just bringing in Rift Bolt. Because if they play Olivia, I just want to be able to kill it. Oh, Corsair of Crew Fix. Okay. Bolus would be nice. No joke. I don't know where he is. We have not seen a Bolus once yet. Also, Pod made so many combos valid is really the... Th oh, that's pretty good. Oh, doesn't that change everything? Steal our Corsair of Crew Fix. Get back your guy. It's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. So Recurring Nightmare and Olivia Voldaren have been the two strongest cards that we've seen. And that's a good one too. All right. Ancestral Vision in the Exile Zone. Good to know, I guess. Well, I guess you won't be stealing our Corsair of Crufix after all. <laughs> Land off the top. Okay. I don't think we have to have a way to deal with this guy. That's in any way profitable. So I'll just play you. Tap you down. And uh, see if we can just finish off this game before it steamrolls out of hand. Deal 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 so many deals yep all right lands we get it god Huh. Well. Yep. I'll kill your chromatic lantern. <laughs> you just sack mirror battle sphere, get back Merfolk Looter. Yep, get back mirror battle sphere, sure. I don't know why you wouldn't get back the Manic Vandal instead, because you're just getting kill a free lantern. That's weird. That was a weird choice. Yep. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor on top. That is unfortunate. Two, three, four. 
tap you down. How are we bouncing Olivia? By Jace? By? Oh, I see what you're saying. That's pretty good. I like that a lot, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. We have enough for scavenging use. They still have um Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, and we get a free Trigon Predator. That's pretty good. All right. Well, then. Um... They have to replay Olivia, which costs four, or they can just get Manic Vandal back. Uh, that's annoying. But like one, two, three, four, they could Olivia and shoot our our one one. But I don't actually think we if they if that's their plan, I don't think we care about that. So we're just gonna play the one one. If they want to play Olivia and and shoot it with their with their one turn, I think they have to actually get back Manic Vandal, killing Chromatic Lantern, and then getting back Mirror Battle Sphere. Uh, but I think that's actually <clears throat> going to do for us. You can you can get you can sack Olivia. Play recurring nightmare. Oh, red cap. Yeah, that that's pretty good. That actually kills Jace. But it, I don't know if that saves you. you have, you'll have four blockers. One, two. You block the biggest guys, which are these. You'll still take three. And we can activate Lumbering Falls. So, I don't think so. Oh, Red Cap comes back and shoots the other guy. Yeah, that's actually, but Red Cap's actually an insane thing to get back. Oh, Jace gets to survive. Yep. All right. So we have Nightmare, Olivia in hand. We don't know anything else about. We don't know anything about as well about else about your hand, unfortunately. Kill the elves. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana. It's pretty good. Misty Rainforest seems pretty okay here. I'm actually just going to play... Actually, let's see. They have five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. And we can just play Bayloth, play Misty, crack Misty. Three, four, five, six. We'll have land, land. We won't have enough to scavenge and use their stuff. Maybe it's better to scavenge and use their stuff? I don't actually know. Olivia got bounced with Jace, Jace the, the butt sculptor. He's better than all you know. Jace the butt sculptor? Pretty sure we just play Bayloth here. We're at nine. We really got to get rid of this Battle Sphere, but we just haven't had time. Noble Phoenix, what's going on, buddy? We just haven't had time to uh, get scavenging news online, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, if eight man, if we had nine men, I would actually just play Scarab God and keep up the Scarab God. I don't think we care about Bayloth. I think we just play Scarab. All right, we have five minutes on the clock, though. We really have to figure out what's going on here. This guy.
Jace the Butt Sculptor. Wow. We can't scare him into Thrag Tusk yet. We only have nine mana. Yep, you got it. Oh, that would have been a good one. Oh, we just went to the end step without playing anything. But I guess that's... I don't think we care. I actually didn't realize we were in our main phase there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I still think we're in pretty good shape here. We know they have Olivia and Nightmare in hand. If they want to, if they have any wipe the board, we just play Whisperwood Element, or we act, sacrifice this guy. Um, we didn't do anything. We actually, I we didn't activate Jace because I literally didn't realize we were in a main phase. I thought we were in end combat. So, I mean, that's why we didn't do anything. That's why we didn't play another creature. So, all right. In before the entire chat tells me I didn't uh, didn't activate Jace. I would have actually played something else as well, like this guy or this guy. But I honestly, I don't think we we really need it. I'm also playing faster. Like once my once my clock starts ticking red, I get a little freaked out. Did you guys know that I didn't activate Jace there? Oh my god, I love it! I love it. Here we go. Here we go. In before the entire chat just just memes it now. Uh, yep, you got it. Four, five, six, seven. There's seven mana. Here comes Nickel Bolas. Yep. To the surprise of no one. What? I think you're still dead here, right? This doesn't. This is cute, but it doesn't really do it. This is a real good games moment. What did you hit? Oh, you hit a Jade Light Ranger, and my next next card is my own Nickel Bolas that just kills you. That's gas, dude. Jace was too busy sculpting butts to activate. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to draw this Nickel Bolas. Let me get ready to run barrel rights though. Oh, all right, we just win this match. Sweet, nicely done. Draw this guy, just seven you. Let Nicol Bolas end the game. Wow, this deck is crushing it. Couldn't you flip the? The predator was no longer on board. The predator died to uh, something else a while back. In the words of Frank, Jace was down at Muscle Beach pumping iron and bone. Is that what he was doing? Ugh. We have a good time. I wish I could hack Magic Online to say uh, join Mitch instead of join Match. I'll keep this hand. It's slow, but it has all the things I want. Double green, it's got it's got a red, it's got a swamp. We'll start with this guy so that we can play this into this into this. It's nickel it's nick nickel nickel. Like nickel like the like the money, like the currency. Like I have a shiny nickel bolus. Nicole? Oh boy. Oh boy, what a mess. Everybody act like they got something to say, but mother truckers act like they forgot about Jace. Okay, okay. How 
about a, how about a mountain off the top so we can rekindling Phoenix? Neck hole, nick hole. This is all very strange to me. Oh, all right, that's cool. I guess he did. Oh, I will activate my smuggler's captor and I will pre prepare. I will uh, proceed to attack you with my smuggler's captor, my uh, smuggler's chopper. Okay, buddy, you got it. You got it. You got it. Chris, I appreciate the compliment, buddy. Uh, but I'll be as good as rapping as I want to be. Why can't you help cast... Um, Non-creatures? I'm just going to play you. I want to draw things that are good for me. Are you going to counter this? Oh, you're just going to lightning bolt me in response? That was aggressive. Oh, wow. That's also aggressive. Oh, this deck is aggressive. I'm not comfortable. I wish this was a Thrag Tusk instead. I'd rather play a Thrag Tusk. Oh, we can't gain life. Oh, that's awkward. So next time we just take six? Oh, why is this in the cube, man? This card is so stupid. I don't want to play against this card. I think we just lost. Like, what do we do? Play Corsair of Crufix, take a damage, go to eight, and they still can't, like, we still can't... That's bad. I'm just going to scoop here. We're at three. They have three cards in hand. They have a floater. We're going to make a Trigon Predator over Shaman. Shaman's been bad. Uh, we'll bring in Rift Bolt and Pillar as well because those are good cards. Everybody act like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move in the libs. Take out Double Red Phoenix, I guess. Everything else seems good. I'll do 41 here. Yeah, we'll keep it. I like this hand. I was also hoping for the 3060. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. Look at all these life gain cards. Fingers crossed for no uh stupid dinosaur baby. Rift bolt. Yep, I was actually figuring it was going to be a rift bolt. Ooh. I'll just wait till you don't have that. The fun police have arrived. Hey, buddy, I heard you were doing really well in the cube. <laughs> well, not anymore. Oh, even Rashad in port. Wow. Here we go. Well, tap your land down. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Oh, looks like I got it anyway. Don't care. Boop. Wow, you got it. I hope you don't have third land. That'd be great for us. Oh, you do. We're having a good time. Having a good time. Everybody's having fun. Give me a tiger. Tap my blue. Oh, you did it. Now any land. Give me any land. Yeah, that's good times. Oh, get that red on top? On the tippy top? We can go primal command your land? Oh, now we... That's sad. Oh, and you had another land. Look at that. Oh, you're going to play a thing. All right. Good times. Oh, you just suspended a greater Gargadon. That's cool. Uh, let's... Let's do a thing. Let's just gain seven and search for a creature. How about that? I'll choose myself. What are we getting? Thrag Tusk here? Oh, Whisperwood Elemental. We already got, we're at 24. I think Whisperwood's probably good. Or Scarab God. We don't have a black, though. That's sad. Bloodbraid Elf? All of our creatures are actually pretty good. They have three cards in hand. That's pretty good. It's probably Whisperwood, right? I think it's Whisperwood. We don't have a six line. You can't just name cards that we don't even have near us. I 
I think Wispy is better than Thrag Tusk. Five life seems worse than uh, a four four that can survive most of their removal and also gets us more two twos. Sure. That was an interesting choice. Hope you can't kill this guy with your two cards in hand. I'm actually pretty sure you can't unless one is Flame Slash. Oh god, it is. It's Flame. You literally have Flame Slash in hand. Actually, you have two. Oh, you have two two cards that deal two damage. All right, that's cool. Oh, we just win the game. What in the earth? What? I gotta say, I love watching your draft frame. I'm sorry for the language, but I feel it's warranted to express your the joy your drafts bring me. Th Aquajern, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. All right. Well, that was an interesting round. I did not expect that to go that way, but here we are. They have a lot of burn. They have a lot, a lot of burn. I thought they were going to be like Flame Slash, like uh, Dude into Flame Slash. That would have been good. I think our deck is pretty good, though. I don't hate this hand. I don't love it, by any means. But I don't hate it. We're on the draw. We get to play a Sylvan Advocate, which is pretty good against all his two damage spells. The other six drop in our deck was not really what we wanted to draw there, especially with Birthing Pod in our deck, but it is what it is, I guess. Any land, and we can actually go uh, Chromatic Lantern into Pillar of Flame, which is nice, into any one of these things. Lightning Bolt. That's a good card. I'm proud of you. Mog War Marshal. Sure. That was perfect. Now we're having a good time. Oh, your little buddy died. Just... <laughs> yep. Welcome to aggressive red decks in the cube, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look, it's our friend. One, two, three. Are we just dead here? We're just dead here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just taking eleven. Just a casual eleven damage. Yeah, we're basically dead. Well, we went two one. Not dead yet. Oh, yeah, we're only at four. Yeah, we're actually literally dead. All right, cool. Well, either way, that deck was sweet. It turned out a lot sweeter than I thought it would. And 2-1 uh, is significantly better than our previous record, so I'll take it. Uh, unfortunately, we still have zero trophies, which is super weird, but I guess we're not playing to win. We're just playing to have fun. So hopefully you guys are appreciating that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a like or a subscribe down there, and uh, we'll see you next time.